silence. Well, I'm gonna get this big screen going. Actually, it doesn't work. <laughs> What's going on, guys? What's going on? What's going on? Happy uh, shit Wednesday. Welcome back to the 7 p.m. streams. We got these shits back every single day. Let's go, baby. Up. We're going to the moon. Uh, big bounce for the market today. Uh, FOMC, absolutely just like markets nuked up. They nuked up stock markets. Uh, take a look at the spy. Look at this move today <laughs> on the spy. <laughs> Right, so S and P absolutely moonshotted, and and as soon as you as soon as crypto saw the S and P moonshot, you basically saw uh, Bitcoin and all the gold coins absolutely rocket ship to the upside today, uh, which is freaking awesome. Yes, and we, we will do a pasta poll. We are going to do a pasta poll today, guys. Let me know in the chat before we get started. What is your favorite and least favorite pasta shape? Okay, your favorite and least favorite pasta shape. I'll tell you right up front. My favorite pasta shape is rotini. Rotini, the sauce gets in, in those little crevices, marinates in there. Mm, it's good stuff, especially when it's been sitting for a while. Bow ties. Who likes bow ties? <laughs> Who buys bow ties? Only Hops buys bow ties. <laughs> All right, so let's get it. Let's have some fun today and um, let's get it, man. So obviously there'll be a little better vibes going on uh, today as we see the markets come up and and uh, we'll talk about what we kind of can expect going forward. Um, there's a lot of shorts open, guys. A lot of Bitcoin shorts. Uh, a lot of them got smashed today. Uh, but there is a lot of Bitcoin shorts open right now um, at higher prices that could get taken out here over the next couple of days. And we'll talk about that uh, coming up. Um, but I think, I think before we even get started with today's stream, thank you guys for coming in. Seriously. Um, we're back to 7 p.m. streams every day. I know it's been kind of hectic going back and forth, but we should be back with 7 p.m. streams every single day moving forward. Um, so smack the like button for 7 p.m. streams and subscribe if you guys are new. <sighs> we got to get to 100K. Well, we got we got to stay above Bitcoin's price. Um, so far, so good. Uh, actually, our subscriber count actually, I think, acted as resistance here for <laughs> Bitcoin. <laughs> right? So if we, if we the subscribers go up, it means Bitcoin can go at a higher price. All right? So uh, let's do that too. So before we get started, though, okay, as always, let's see how Horse Guy is feeling about the market today because yesterday he was listening to a few other YouTubers, right? A few other YouTubers uh, yesterday. Here's one of them, okay? Here's uh, one of them, okay? This, this was from one day ago, okay? This crypto bloodbath is far from over, all right? And... You know, this is just one, okay? And here's one from this morning before everything got a bounce. Here's another one. Uh, why the 2024 Bitcoin bull run is over. Guys, when you see these big channels, I'm talking about the big massive channels, just being uber bearish, that's the most obvious signal that the, that the, that the market's going to bounce. You really think Bitcoin would top when he's bearish and when he's bearish? Come on now, please. Please, that, that's not that's not how tops work. Tops work when everyone is goddamn bullish, okay? It, it, it ain't gonna happen. So um, let's see how Horse Guy is uh, acting, okay, right now. Wait, the, what the hell? I thought the old coin capitulation was continuing. What happened to the bloodbath? I sold all my old coin yesterday because I thought the, the bull one was over. I thought the old coin bloodbath was continuing. <sighs> My God, man. I am completely out of old coin. I'm completely out of Bitcoin. What am I supposed to do now? I can't even feed myself. Oh My God, do I FOMO? Do I not FOMO? <sighs> it's too late to FOMO. If I FOMO now, it will dump. So I will wait a little bit. I will not FOMO now. It will dump if I buy. <laughs> okay so uh so yeah so yeah um let's get it let's do this <laughs> let's do this and let, let, let's have some fun today okay let's have some fun you know we, we gotta we gotta add a little fun in the market now uh before we get into the charts uh the big thing today was uh eth okay ethereum on um, the sec came after ethereum now guys we've seen this from the sec before we've seen eth We've seen other altcoins get attacked by the SEC, right? We've seen Solanzo, Cardanzo, <laughs> uh, and other altcoins be attacked by the SEC. 
But actually, when they were attacked by the SEC, those big wicks to the downside actually marked the lows. Okay, so today, what I thought was funny is you had this news come out before the FOMC. Okay, where, where the Ethereum Foundation faces inquiry from government. Fortune says SEC is investigating ETH. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we've seen this before for different altcoins. Many altcoins are 5, 10x higher from when the SEC was investigating them. Who, who the frick gives a shit? Uh, but this is when the, that news came out. And look at ETH. <laughs> just absolutely just rocket shipping up uh, right after uh, the SEC goes after ETH. Just an absolute rocket ship from ETH. Uh, ETH went from about 3,000 to about 3,500 today uh, after that news. Bad news always mark lows. If you sold your Ethereum today, okay? Nope. nope. Stupid. You're not going to make it in the bull run, guys. Bad news marks lows. Good news marks highs. Remember that. Bad news marks lows. Good news marks highs. If you sold your ETH today after that news, unless you sold your ETH and put it in a different altcoin, I'm not going to blame you for that. There's faster horses. But if you sold ETH into cash, stupid, what? I, 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 I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it anymore, man. All right, so uh, that, that goes out for, for for that, man. Just, just f you, Gary. Okay, f you, Gary. Screw you, Gary. <laughs> all right, um, all right. So let's have some fun. So let's have fun. So Bitcoin. Bitcoin actually this morning at one point was at 60,000. <laughs> now it's at 68,000. Um, huge day. Right? Almost, I think actually, if you include the 24 hours, Bitcoin is up almost uh, over 20, over 10% today. Uh, huge freaking day. Now, does that mean we're out of the woods? No, we're not out of the woods yet. Okay. By the way, actually, let's do a quick poll. We're, we got to get a poll up before we start here. Okay. Um, Let's do a quick poll, okay? Because because today's going to be an awesome stream, guys. I'm, I'm excited to get back to the 7 p.m. We're going to start kicking it into gear here, okay? Best pasta shape. Okay, now I'm going to include my own. I'm going to put Rotini in there, okay? Rotini. I'm going to put in Rotini. Peter Spliff! <laughs> What's up, bro? We'll take a look at it in a second, man. Uh, thanks for the super chat, bro. We'll look at it, Peter Spliff. Shout out to Peter Spliff, bro. Oh, should we, we should put this back on so we can hear people's things. <laughs> there we go. Horse guy loves bow tie pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Horse guy does love bow tie pasta. All right, we'll put Rotini. We'll put we'll put angel hair. You know, I think I think that's that's a, that's a common staple. Angel hair. Remember to invest in gold. Your funny internet money will go to zero. What else should we put? What else should we put? for gold. Some Simple. people like tortellini. Okay, we'll, we'll put, put some put some tortellini on there, and <laughs> pleater spliff. Uh, pasta shells. Shells are bad. I need another option, guys. Ah, shit. You only gonna. Have, I only can put four options. This is gonna be. This is not a great poll, but uh, let's see. Shells. Shells. Penne. Oh, we'll put penne. Pe penne is a is a staple too. Penne. Okay. Thoughts on late year rate cuts. Okay, I can only put four. Ingredients. <laughs> so, she was the best out of those four, okay? I don't know. I don't know which what else to put. Booby. Franco likes Kavatabi, bro. No one knows what Kavatabi is. <laughs> what is that shit? All right, let's talk some Bitcoin. So, guys, we're not out of the woods yet. Now, it's awesome. I think the sentiment yesterday, it, it wasn't really... You, you couldn't really tell what the sentiment is based off Fear and Greed Index, right? The Fear and Greed Index was still at a 74 but it didn't feel that way. I feel like there was a lot more fear in the market than was actually being shown in the fear and greed. I think mo most people were shitting their pants yesterday calling for 50K, right? And you can tell what the sentiment is based off what these guys are saying, okay? When the biggest accounts on YouTube, what are they saying? That's the sentiment in the market. One of them saying the Bitcoin bull run is over, okay? At the Pico low. And the other one saying the crypto crypto bloodbath is far from over at the Pico low, okay? That is fear. That is fear at its finest, okay? So I don't think the sentiment of the market was accurately predicted with the fear and greed. That's why I think the fear and greed in bull markets is useless because I think fear is actually more fearful than what actually shows on that, right? So we're not out of the woods yet, but awesome bounce, 10%. Um, it's it's going to be getting back over the 69K level, right? The 69K previous all-time high, that's going to be the, 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 the set because we broke back above the all-time highs. 
We dumped back below, and now we're coming back up to test that 69K-ish level. That's going to be the doorway, right? We get back above 69K, I think it's pretty clear we're going into new highs, okay? But we got a clear 69K. Now, why do I think that's going to happen, okay? One, I think a lot of people were listening to these guys and sold altcoins. I think those are going to push markets higher, right? Two, I also think it's because if we go over to liquidations, okay? Now, I usually don't talk about this, but like I said, we're going to start stepping into gear and I'll show you guys my reasoning for a lot of things. Let's go to the weekly and look at the liquidation heat map on Bitcoin. So I was posting this at Discord today, and this is why I thought we were going to bounce uh, after the FOMC today, because look at all these short liquidations. There's almost no long liquidations. No one's longing. <laughs> Everyone's scared, <laughs> you know? Because Bitcoin's been going down. So what happens is, because Bitcoin goes down, is everyone's scared now. Look, there's no longs. Look at all the shorts up here, bro. 69K, you got 330 million, 318 million, 250 million, 208 million. Everyone's shorting. <laughs> all the way up to this point where you have 350 million at 73K and actually above the highs, up here towards 70, 74, 75K. So many shorts to wreck. And that's why I put in the title today, short liquidations coming because I, I, I think it's likely that we take all these out, okay? Especially with the sentiment that we had yesterday where everyone calling for significantly lower prices, okay? So that's what we got right now, man. Um, fantastic sentiment reset. And you could see people still leave because everyone's shorting right now, right? So uh, that's what we got, that's what we got. now. Like I said, 69K is the level to get back above. We get back above that. I think we're going to be easily smacking all these shorts uh, back to the upside. <laughs> Best favorite is ramen. <laughs> Shout out to that, man. Listen, we were eating ramen yesterday, boys. But today, today, we ain't eating no ramen. You know what we're eating today, fellas? No ramen today, boys. No ramen today. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Bro, ramen is tough here. I know some people actually like ramen. I'm not, I've never been a big ramen fan, to be honest. Like, ramen to me, ramen to me. Z, 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 bro. Z, 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 ha, ha, love you, bro. Love you too, gaming bat. We've been spelled disease, bro. You're acting like Franco. What are you doing in here? For some people, love ramen, man. I've never been a big ramen fan. I'm going to be honest, bro. Never been a big Robin fan. Okay, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on Bitcoin, but Bitcoin is obviously on pump watch. Um, 69K is the big level, this 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 red box. We get through that, we're going to all-time highs. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is, what did I want to talk about? What do I want to talk about? What do I want to talk about? Um, I wanted to talk about, okay, so kind of like we've been talking about, guys, is, you know, this all-time high rejection is typically what Bitcoin does, right? So we, we've said this, like, it's totally normal for Bitcoin to get rejected from the previous all-time highs. That's okay. It's okay. Don't turn into horse guy when Bitcoin hits all-time highs and pulls back a little bit. It's totally normal. Okay? And typically what, you, what you've what you seen during that point is when Bitcoin hits all-time highs and gets a little pullback, the altcoins actually get trounced. <laughs> we saw that back in 2020, right? During this little period right here where Bitcoin really didn't even do much. Altcoins actually went down like 30-40% during this time. Just like right here, like Bitcoin hasn't really done much in reality. It went down like 16%, but altcoins got hit pretty hard. That's totally normal. But what's happened after this point is when Bitcoin's broken those all-time highs, My girl leading that's when tonight. <laughs> you're going to hope that you were in the altcoins, okay? You were going to hope that you were in the altcoins. And if you are during that point, this is what you're going to be doing, okay? Oh shit, you can't see it. <laughs> we got to do it one more time. We got to do it one more time. You guys couldn't see it. Shit, man. That was brutal. One more time. Come on. Come on. Shit, man. 
Okay, it's okay. You guys don't need to see it. Basically, you're kicking the bears in the nuts um, if you can make it to that point. So uh, that's what we're going to be watching. Now, all coins, <laughs> right? We talked about yesterday. A lot of them came back down to that bull market support band, right? So Link came back to the bull market support band, got a nice bounce. Uh, once again, still a lot of work to do. But the important thing to recognize is when, when there's that huge fear in the market, you're already in the market. Just chill out, okay? Just chill out. If you did, if you're still in the market, you just chill out during the big dumps. If you're someone who's looking to add, you add during those big dumps. Okay. For me, I'm more so just looking to chill. Um, the only thing I did buy on this dip was Pepe. That's the only thing I bought. I'm happy that I did because that's the one that's the the most of my portfolio. Let's go, man! Shout out to the Pepeers. <laughs> Let's go, man! Shout out to Pepe. But um, a lot of them just pulled back to that bull market support band, right? Vulcan Forged. Um, we go and look at, uh, what's another one that did a lot of them did optimism, right? Optimism came back and pulled back to the bull market support band. They all came back to very logical levels for a bounce. Couple that with the sentiment. I think it was pretty obvious that the, the altcoins were going to get a bounce. Okay. So now the thing is now we got to start pushing the highs, right? Um, so good start. We got work to do. Uh, but ultimately, I think that, that the people who hold strong and the people who have the patience throughout the bull market still have the best gains in front of them. I still think the best gains in this market are coming for the altcoins. We went through phase E. Now, we haven't talked about phase F, which is F the bears. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about that coming up. But overall, man. Um, Inflation is going higher, Jordan. No bull run yet. <laughs> Shout out to Cycle Pro, my favorite bear, my favorite bear. Thank you, Cycle Pro. But um, as we were talking about, I think we're right here in this phase for the for the altcoins. Uh, this is when Bitcoin was battling all time highs last bull cycle, and this is where we are right here, right? Where Bitcoin's battling all time highs. You kind of get stuck there for a little bit, but once you do break, once Bitcoin does break through those all time highs, which I do think is coming pretty pretty soon, um, that's when the real fun starts for the altcoin market. That's when you get this move, right? Uh, right here, okay, which I do expect to happen again. Maybe not this big, but I do expect that to happen again here as soon as Bitcoin has the strength to get through those highs. Okay, so um, it's a matter of game of patience, and this is this is kind of what we we talk about is just having patience and not trying to time every bottom or high because you know a lot of people. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think a lot of people sold down here. And I think it was because you had a lot of influencers telling you it's going significantly lower. The bloodbath is just starting. The Bitcoin bull market is over. <laughs> right? And I think a lot of people are formulating back in now. And that's ultimately what's going to push the prices higher. Right? So uh, shout out to you if you held strong, especially on Bitcoin and a lot of the altcoins uh, that got really, really, really nice bounces today. I know we're, we're actually going to look at all coins today, right? Because I think if Bitcoin can get through this, I think this is going to be the point where looking at individual old coins will be fun again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, oh, let, let, let me look at some of the super chats though before we keep jumping through. Holy shit. Alex C said, can you look at audio on the weekly? Yeah, man, let's look at audio on the weekly. Let's look at audio on the weekly for you, man. And, and then we, I'll, I'll, as I type in audio weekly, <laughs> Jesus, man. Oh shit! Audio on the weekly. Let's take a look, man. Look where you bounced. You bounced right at the bull market support band. It's nice, man. It's nice. But yeah, this just looks like a giant W formation, right? Look, yeah, the big bear market. Can you look at audio on the weekly? Right? Thanks, JC. The, yeah, the big bear market. You got the first low, right? You came up, came back down, made a second higher low. Just a big, giant W formation, uh, ultimately. And, and this pullback was nice. You came right to that bull market support band. And ultimately, we're looking for, um, right now, we're looking for a bounce higher, right? So nice little pullback in there. Nice little reset. Um, this one is one interesting that's still in this range, though. It's still in this, like, it's still in the bear market range. <laughs> it's very rare to find stuff that's in those on here, but... Um, Ultimately, what we're waiting for is the breakthrough, the retest, and then the continuation, right? That's what we're waiting through ultimately, which I do think happens for most things. It's just a matter of patience, right? Uh, Cycle Pearl, shout out to you, man. Appreciate you again. Uh, 
Philly driver said, forget the pole penis shaped pasta is the best way to go. The penis shaped pasta. You know what the worst pasta is? The bow ties. You guys know this pasta. <laughs> I don't like that pasta. There's nothing good about that pasta. It's just like a flat piece of paper. And then also the wheel. These these pastas that are like this. And then it's like, I forget how they even go, but they're like, they have like a little circle right here. And then they have like, you guys know, the wheel pasta. That's like this. These pastas are ass too. The, 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 the bow tie and the wheel pasta. <laughs> Those are the worst ones. Who buys the wheel pasta? You got you to be out of your mind. And the bow tie. The bow tie is probably only good for, for like pasta salad or potato salad. Something like that. Like a, like a nice cold pasta dish would be good for the bow, for the bow ties. You know what I mean? Um, my girl is eating the tube steak filet chow tonight. Nice, man. Nice, man. Um, I'm proud of you, bro. Gaming with Bat, shout out to you again, man. Overcome said dots on the late year rate cuts as top signal in eight ingredients. Yeah, rate cut usually means that the, the market's topped, right? So I think that's this is why the market keeps pumping because I think people know that historically rate cuts, like as long as the Fed doesn't cut rates, we're bullish. As, as soon as the Fed cuts rates, that's usually when we're bearish. Like people have this so backwards. You don't want the Fed to cut rates. And that's why every time the Fed says we're not cutting rates yet, the market just keeps going higher. <laughs> because the market, no, like smart people know this. That's why the market just keeps going up, right? Peter Spliff, your friend Peter Spliff here. Remember to invest in gold. Your funny internet money will go to zero. Sell Bitcoin for gold. Dude, you sound like the Bank of Canada guy, man. Basically, Basically Bitcoin, Bitcoin is, is clearly, clearly a scam. scam. Cryptocurrency is clearly... clearly an, an idiot, idiot with no, no common sense, sense. And, and scientifically, scientifically speaking, speaking according, according to a study, study at the, the Bank, Bank of Canada, of Canada more people who are fina financially <laughs> illiterate invest in Bitcoin. You sound like a uh, sound like a weirdo, man. Okay, um, so Bitcoin. Okay, so let's let's go over a few things. Let's go over a few things. Let's go over a few things. Um, do you think NFTs will make a comeback? Said Matt. Yes, NFTs will make a comeback, man. But NFTs will be like a late stage bull market thing. Like NFTs were kind of a late stage bull market thing in 2021. I think there'll be a late stage. That's like one of the last things where like that's like. Do you think NFTs you, that's like will absolute make a peak comeback? euphoria when people are paying millions of dollars for pictures? That that's like peak euphoria. That's actually a good top signal. <laughs> when people are paying a shitload of money for NFTs, great top signal by the way. People ain't doing that right now because it's not that euphoric. But as soon as you see people. Paying a million dollars for the board eight yacht club pictures again. <laughs> it's a great signal. Great signal. Okay, uh, let's talk about a few things. So, you know, ETH obviously, F you Gary. I want to say it again. Strap up. We're going to the moon. F you Gary. You want to sue, you want to go against ETH? Guess what? Pump Pump it. It. <laughs> F you Gary. All right. Uh, you met a tricked horse guy. But you, you didn't trick us, okay? You didn't trick us over here in this channel. We know that bad news marks loves, okay? We, we, we know that over here on this channel, okay? So that's what we got there. Um, let's look at a few different things here. So obviously, dude, I mean, what's hot? It's it's <laughs> the memes and AI coins, man. That's That's kind of been the ticket, right? So Pepe is up 27%. On the day, I mean, Pepe is almost back to its highs. <laughs> you know what I mean? And this is how things can change really, really fast. And I said this on the Discord, I think. I said, when the altcoins bounce, guys, they're going to bounce really, really quick. They're going to bounce really quick to the point where it's not going to give you guys an entry the time if you guys aren't the buying the red days. Whoa! Check dollar at TM Papa. <laughs> Wayne said all the poor it. people coins are doing well. <laughs> it's a good way to put it, man. It's a good way to put it. But uh, the thing with the altcoins, guys, we said, like, when the altcoins bottom, we don't know. We didn't know when the altcoins were going to bottom, right? I had a good guess last night and this morning, pre-FOMC, that the altcoins were getting close to a bottom. Like I said, because the typical signals <laughs> were pointing that they were at the bottom. Uh, pretty obvious, right? Pretty obvious when you look at it in hindsight, right? When you start seeing these, um, it's pretty obvious. But I, I, I think 
the thing is, we, we, you gotta buy during the red days and let this be a lesson. Now, markets are gonna start coming back up, okay? You got the stock market ripping, you got Bitcoin ripping, so you're, you're gonna see these old coins continue up. Let this be a lesson. How did you guys feel yesterday? And I want you guys to remember this. That's why I said you guys should start a journal. Now, don't start a journal, it's kinda weird. I, I was kinda kidding when I said start a journal, okay? Now, I do it sometimes. I, I, do, I do put my emotions on a chart, okay? You don't have to do that, but remember how you felt yesterday. You probably felt like shit. You probably think, thought, why didn't I take some profits when the markets were higher, okay? Remember how you felt, okay? And I want to remind you, you guys will feel so much better. In so year, much what better. Think of Dogecoin. Can you so much better. DC Doge chain? Ty. Oh my God, you guys are going crazy. Right, guys, uh, let, let, me, let, me, <laughs> let me turn these off for two seconds. You guys are going crazy today, man. Crazy today, man. I love to see it, man. I love to see, um, you know, uh, the little hype come back. It's nice. Um, but here's the thing, right? So for Pepe, for example, right? Say if you're in Pepe, Pepe starts coming up to new highs. Remember how you felt yesterday. If Pepe starts pushing 12, 13, 14, 15 up here, right? Take some off the board, even if it's like 5 to 10%. Take a little off the board. You're going to feel so much better when the market dips. And you said, you know what? I took some profits. You're gonna feel so much better about it. Don't forget how you feel during the dips, okay? Maybe it doesn't mean you have to sell everything. And I don't advise selling everything because I still think we're super early in the altcoin bull market. But take a little off the board on the big pumps. You're gonna, you're not gonna feel as bad on the dips, and you're gonna feel a lot better because you said, oh shit, like I knew, I saw the market was getting a little bit heated. I took a little off the board, right? You'll feel better about yourself as well. So. Um, just use the Pepe as it, but like, dude, the coins that are bouncing, it, it, it's 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 the memes and the AI coins, man. Fit almost back to the highs again. Um, Pals going nuts. GPU had a nice day. And mostly everything's up though, right? Mostly everything's up on the day, um, especially the ones that have gotten absolutely crushed um, are up on the day for the most part. Uh, if we go over there, dude, stacks is up 27% today. Holy guacamole. Chewy right now is going insane. Stacks. F, man. 27%. Jesus, Lord almighty. What can you say? What can you say? Woo! Come on! Let's go, baby. I love to see it. Stacks going nuts. You got Doge, 17% on the day. Now it's still got some work to do, right? You're getting, it's, you know, obviously we have to make sure these aren't like bearish retests, right? Where, where we have like a low, we come back up, we get a big pump into the previous low, but Doge up 17%, right? So now you give a little bit of yourself a caution. Like if you bought in the big fear yesterday, which was pretty obvious big fear, um, right? Now you're up at like 23, 24% already on Doge, just if you bought yesterday, right? So um, good stuff there. Holy shit. I think they bought Pepe. These guys bought Pepe on the dip. <laughs> These guys outside bought Pepe on the dip. Wait, no, that's that's Bob. Wow, man, I'm freaking rich. Have you seen my dog coins? Yo, Benjamin. Benjamin, come here, bro. Take a look at trading view. Holy shit, do you see Dote? Do you see ship? Oh my freaking god. I held during the dip. Now I'm freaking rich. <laughs> it's Bob and his friend outside. I think they bought Pepe outside, bro. Holy shit. Doge is just a safer Pepe. <laughs> it is, it is. It's a safer Pepe. I, I, when I'm in a meme mode, give me the give me the most dangerous one. Give me the most dangerous meme. I actually don't think Pepe is that dangerous. I think Pepe is like Pepe is like the only non non dog meme. That's why I like it. Honestly, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be pretty clear. I'm kind of sick of the dog. I'm, I love dogs, but I'm kind of sick of the dog memes. Like they're kind of getting a little old to me. The dog memes, man. I want something that's non dog. That's why I, I'm, I'm balls deep in Pepe. Balls deep in Pepe. I want a non dog meme. This is coming from someone who loves dogs, guys. I do. I do love dogs. Um, but I want a non-dog meme. 
Okay. Um, I was hoping for the cat pump. We never got the cat pump. Cat lovers, pump your meme coins, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's 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 Pepe Doge. Um, you got obviously you got stacks with with the Bitcoin play. Then it's the AI coins. It's Ocean Fet. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's not even just those. <laughs> it's everything, right? So everything's up double digits today. It, it, it's today. What today is? You, do you know what today is the definition of, guys? Today is the definition of what? What is today the definition of? John, I just came over from Georgia Street. Look at my old car. Look at my old car. It's up 11% today. Look at my old car. <laughs> it's the definition of that day where the whole market is green, right? Everything's green and it's look at my old coin, right? It's the definition of that day today. <laughs> it's the definition of it. Okay. Let's look at a few other things. So, guys, we're gonna I'm gonna save the individual old coins to, to, for a little bit. Let's look at our um, our typical things that we look at. So, um, I actually want to look at the ETF flows. Okay, so I want to start looking at this every day. So, the ETF flows today. So, Grayscale is just dumping. Grayscale is dumping. Um, yesterday they dumped almost 10k. Oh, make sure over here. They almost dumped 700 million dollars today. Uh, yesterday they dumped almost 450 million dollars today they dumped 386 million dollars you see the trend is down but still they're dumping a lot right i actually think it's somewhat impressive that bitcoin is actually at 68k with almost 1.5 billion dollars in selling pressure from grayscale in the last three days it's actually kind of impressive i'm not gonna lie um but you can see that the inflows for for the um inflows actually came up big today right? so yesterday the inflows were horrible um today you have things back to normal numbers right so uh, inflows on the ETFs are back toward normal numbers. We don't have we don't have BlackRock or Fidelity yet, but uh, I'm sure they're a lot higher than they were yesterday. Yesterday was like the worst day we've had, so I'm sure they're a lot higher because all these other ones are higher than they were. So we'll see how this ends up. Unfortunately, we don't have all the data here. Um, we already looked at liquidations, right? So we we know that all the liquidations for the most part are to the upside for BTC. Let's look at the bubbles. Wow. <laughs> Looks like a bloodbath out there, huh? Stupid. <laughs> Look at the bloodbath on the bubbles. Holy shit. Wow. There's not one red... Oh, wait. There is a red coin. What is this? Eunice. <laughs> the only red coin. <laughs> but holy shit. Look at the bloodbath. <laughs> oh, shit. The bloodbath is crazy um you know how this makes me feel <laughs> oh shit this shit man shit let's look at everything yeah not no all going but yeah everything's green guys so everything's green opposite of a bloodbath and yeah there you go so total bloodbath total bloodbath on the day today Congratulations if you bought the dip. I think you got some good entries yesterday on some of these altcoins, um, especially these ones that are up, you know, 30, 30%. You got some damn good entries. <laughs> so, <laughs> good shit, good shit. Uh, let's look at the Fear and Greed Index. So the Fear and Greed Index is coming in at 74. Um, so 74. So we're not actually, we actually went down from Extreme Greed. Yesterday we we're at 79. Today we we're at 74. So we're actually out of Extreme Greed, back into Greed. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I still don't think this is like reasonable of what we were actually at. I think there was a lot more fear in the market than actually was shown here. Um, but 74, uh, back to there, not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, buy BTC. Let's take a look at our buy BTC top indicator. Actually going down, right? So Bitcoin's price really not going down too much, but you have almost a third of the people, third less people searching Bitcoin on Google. So. I guess that's what happens when when the market goes down but yeah this, so this is dropping down buy bitcoin or buy crypto uh is dropping down which means less people are buying crypto huh uh t our apps our apps another reason why i don't think the market is even close to topping because i don't think we're even going to see coinbase in the top 200 apps unless unless i'm crazy let's do a little central f and let's type in coinbase 
There is no Coinbase in the top 200 apps. Let's type in crypto.com. Crypto.com is at 152. So you have crypto.com at 152, no Coinbase in the top 200. That's awesome. With Bitcoin almost at 70K, you don't even have Coinbase in the top 200 apps. <laughs> so just to put it in perspective, Bitcoin has topped the last two times it was the number one app on the app store. It's not even in the top 200 apps right now. <laughs> so just to put that into perspective a little bit, it's kind of crazy, right? Um, so I think we're good there. We're good there. Nothing crazy there. Um, and then obviously, as we kind of go along, uh, the real test is going to be getting back above this high cycle top back over here, which is typically where Bitcoin finds a little rejection at all time highs. Um, it's going to be getting back up a weekly close above this damn pie cycle top blue moving average, which is at 71,000 now. That's going to be the goal for this week is getting a close above the $71,100 pie cycle top. Let's freaking go. Let's do it. And I think we can do it, man. I think we can do it this week. I think we can do it with all those shorts that are open, with all those shorts that are open on Bitcoin, with the absolute fear that was in the market yesterday, I think we can get back above 71K this week. I think we can do it pretty easily, to be honest. Uh, but you know what we're gonna have to do to get back above that level, fellas? Do you understand what we're gonna have to do to get back above that level? I think you know what we're gonna have to do. I need all you guys in the chat, okay? All you guys in the chat right now, put your pickles together. <laughs> or George would say, put your cocks together. Put your cocks together, okay? Put your pickles together and spam the pickle emoji in the chat. If you can't find the pickle emoji, you know what I want you to do? I want you to just spam the word pickle in the chat, okay? So get in here right now. And I want you to spam it. Spam the pickles. gets me so hyped all right enough, enough of the damn song enough of the damn song man <laughs> enough of the i love that damn song man that song gets me pumped all right uh let's go back let's put the pickle down here thank you for guys for putting your cocks and your pickles together thank you <laughs> i always love it I, I do watch george you guys know i like what i watch i watch george i like when he makes the cock jokes man it's funny to me i don't know it's i guess you, you kind of have to be kind of a horrible joke taker to like the the, the george cock jokes but i do like the george cock jokes <laughs> I do, I do. Okay. Uh, all right, so that's what we got. We'll keep an eye on Bitcoin. Bitcoin here in the short term, it does look like it wants to try to come back up and break the 68K level. So we'll keep an eye on Bitcoin here in the short term. Let's freaking go. We'll see if we can break that 68K uh, resistance in here. Um, all right, let's go look at a few individual altcoins. So I'm going to hop into Super Chats. And, and then what we'll do is we'll, we'll look at um, some alts. I think most of them we're going to look good, guys. I, um, there's a lot of alt, altcoin, Bitcoin pairs. Um, there's actually a really good chart I want to show you from o, uh, OG Yomi. OG Yomi um, keeps posting a really good chart in the Discord. Shout out to OG Yomi. This is not my chart, but I want to show it to you guys. And there's actually some wike off on the total three Bitcoin chart that we'll look at in a bit. I think you guys will really like this chart. It's not me, guys. It's it, uh, no, I think OG Yomi keeps showing the Discord. I'm like, dude, this is a super bullish chart. So we'll look at that in a minute. 
Uh, Whale Talk, I appreciate you. Thanks for being here every day. Free Do Kwan. Free Do! Should we free Do Kwan? I don't know. Was it Do Kwan's fault that Luna collapsed? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we should free Do Kwan. <laughs> I think we, I don't know. I don't know. Can you check Koss, said Rudy? Koss? Yeah, Koss has been, um, I mean, Koss, it pulled back, like everything pulled back the last like week or so, right? So it's not, it's not crazy. Um, Koss, let's go look at Koss. So Koss also came back down to the bull market support band, right? So it actually broke this trend line. So I guess we can remove it because it broke the damn trend line, but Koss actually pulled back just like most things right here to that bull market support band, right? And look at the, look at the reaction off that level, right? So this is why this is such a strong point where like, if you do want to add to coins, you add them at that bull market support band on pullbacks, right? So good reaction there. Um, and now ultimately like, once again, we're getting that bullish engulfing on the daily. Uh, bullish engulfing on the daily is really, really strong. Um, so now we're gonna look for that, that, that further impulse to the upside, man, right? And then, we're, then you're just gonna look for like your retracements and see if you can get through them. But you get that bullish engulfing on the daily there. And we can also get Bitcoin to start pushing up again. Looks really, really nice. Um, but this, like if you did wanna buy some more costs, um, this would be the region right here. Just a, just a pretty, like if, I don't know if you're gonna get another dip into there. I, I actually don't, no, if you will, but if you get another dip in this box, that's probably the point where you want to add some costs, right? If you want to buy costs, right? It's support, it's resistance, it's resistance. Flipping into support again, at the bull market support band. Now we start to try to push back up again. But nice retrace though. That was a freaking huge retrace, man. Let's see. It's almost a 786 retrace. Whoo! Man. It's a big, this is a big ass retrace. Bitcoin's still at 67.8. Haven't really moved up yet. How do I join your Discord? Shit. Hold on. Let, let me let me get you guys a Discord link. Just be careful in there, right? There's this guy named Franco on the Discord. He likes to cause some trouble. Um, so just watch out for Franco. Watch out for Bath. Um, watch out for Bath. You might make a lot of money on his altcoin calls. So just be careful. You might make too much money, and I might, you know, you might start doing drugs and start, you know, hooking up with hookers or something if you start listening to his calls. Um, Okay, here, here we go. I'm gonna put this in here. Discord link is in the chat. If you guys want to join the Discord, there you go, there you go. Just be careful, be careful in there. <laughs> be careful in there. Um, damn, y'all, check out Soul Killer, the hot new meme coin. <laughs> damn, damn, that's the name of the coin. Damn, man. Well, I would say, damn. It ain't the soul killer. Cause damn, it's not. Shout out to Icy, shout out to Icy Acorns. Uh, Animal Friendo with the $10 super chat and number one sticker. He said, bow tie has high surface area, which is best for pasta salads. That's what I said. I think, I think bow tie pasta is good for pasta salads. It's not good for hot pasta. I agree. Also GPU to the moon, where is where cheese is stored for your pasta salad? Sprinkle on. GPU to the moon, baby. I need a little bit more pump though. Um, hasn't mooned yet. It's kind of it's because it, it, it went up so much and now it's just in the accumulation phase, right? So people are just accumulating it whenever it goes below a dollar. But hopefully we get we get a little bit of a move up soon. Arthur Morgan said, "Got kicked, got nicked. You're still the man. I'm back. What's up, Arthur Morgan? Why'd you get why Why'd you get kicked?" Jesus. Autistic said, uh, remember real world assets are just rebranded NFTs. It's same poo, just new name. Real world assets, yes, yes. There are actually a few good real world asset coins. Um, I do hold one that I do like. Um, just know like eh, the real world asset class for altcoins, it's the same as every altcoin, guys. Every altcoin is a meme, sort of. So just know that. Um, I do hold one, one like actual NWA. Or sorry, RWA. Um, this one right here. This one actually did really good. Alliance block. This is the one that I actually hold a decent amount of. But yeah, I, I think these are going to become really hot, right? The the, the real world assets. These are, these are going to become really hot at some point. Um, just a matter of time. 
but I, I agree. But I do hold one just in case. Because <laughs> I, I want to have one thing in each sector just in case it pops off. Uh, Lynn, what's up? I'm new here. What do you think of Dogecoin? I said yesterday, dude, if I'm going to hold three coins, <laughs> I think I said this yesterday. If I'm going to hold three coins, I said GPU, uh, I said Doge, and I said, I know, I said, wait, what did I say? What was the third one I said? I said GPU, Doge, I think I said Injective too, just because it's been consolidating for so long. I, I like Doge. Doge is the meme coin. It, it's Doge is the master meme coin. Like if you want one meme coin, Doge. Just because it's the master meme. It's the master meme. Tom Selleck's GOAT. <laughs> What's up, man? Thanks for becoming a member. Uh, thanks for becoming a member, bro. Appreciate you, man. Check F check Phantom. Phantom had a big pullback yesterday. Or today. Technically yesterday. Wait, no, technically today, because the daily close didn't happen yet. Wait, what the hell? Phantom was whoa man! Phantom was down like 10% earlier. <laughs> Jeez. Phantom was down like 10% earlier today. What the hell? What the flying fluck? <laughs> nice, bro. I don't even Strap know what was up there. Going to the moon. Dude, this thing was down 11% earlier today. Now it's up 10%. Jeez, that turnaround, bro. 20% turnaround. Nice, man. Yeah, I mean, when you when you just look at uh, FTM's chart, I mean, technically speaking, you're going to have these underside, there's lows right here. I, I think more likely the more... Big resistance is up here at like 166. Um, 100, sorry, $1.68, which is the Luna Crash high right there. For a lot of coins already actually got up to that Luna Crash high. But damn, damn, dude, I, I didn't even think that thing was up. <laughs> That's nice, bro. Nice shit on Phantom. Phantom is just freaking crushing it, man. That little double bottom right here. Just absolutely crushing it, man. Like, dude, it didn't even have the SOS phase. It just pumped upwards consolidation pumped again yeah phantom's really really strong man really really strong so 168 is that next level up here on ftm it's looking freaking beastly though <laughs> freaking huge missed the time with all the lols robert brunk shout out to robert brunk man thanks for everyone coming in hanging out 67 8 on btc so not much going on here. Like we said, we got to get through 69K. 69K is going to be the level to watch, fellas. Um, I think we're going to make it up there. It's just like we're going to be able to break through on the first try. If we don't, that's okay. right? If we, if we don't break through, that's okay. I mean, we could do something like this. We got up to 69K. We get rejected. We come back down. We almost like retest this trend line. And then we come back up, right? And we almost have like one of these left shoulder, head, right shoulder type things right that then tries to push us back to the upside right something like that could also happen so like we, we don't have to break through this on the first try it's okay if we don't um i would like to though i, th I think i think we all would like to break through it on the first try which would be cool which would be cool which would be really really cool that's what we all prefer um smash the like thank you matt from kansas <laughs> matt from kansas I'm happy you're not Matt from New York or Matt from Jersey. <laughs> you guys like to make fun of Jersey. Thanks for not being Matt from New Jersey. Okay, you're Matt from Kansas. Thanks for th thanks for telling people to hit the likes. ETC fractal. Yeah, it's like look the ETC fractal. Uh, yeah, it it's not like it hasn't worked. It actually has worked. I mean, take a look at this, guys. You guys will like this. So the ETC fractal. Okay, we're actually, we can get rid of Capo sells all his altcoins. We, we, we get it at this point. <laughs> but that, it's still working, right? So if you take a look, like we did get that big pump. We just didn't go as high as last time, which makes sense, right? The market caps are a lot higher, like yada, 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 right? So we actually got the pump and you can see that we consolidated. We got this big dump back down, like the same time, the time frame was on, right? Big dump. And you can see from here, right? If, if the fractal will play out, just remember, like, it seems like we're not going to pump as hard. It makes sense, right? Obviously, like we said, market caps are higher. When the market caps are higher, we don't pump as hard. Um, but we actually pulled back at the same time. And this is actually when we would bottom, technically. We technically would hit a bottom right here um, based on time. And you can see that we kind of started to move back up, right? So I guess if, if this was going to follow, we would expect something like this, right? Move up, higher low. And then move up like that or something, right? I don't know though. 
it, it, it technically is still on. It's just ha it didn't pump as hard, <clears throat> you know. But yeah, it's what we got there for ETC fractal. <laughs> when ETC a hundred bucks, I don't know, feed. All right, I don't know, man. I want it to go to a hundred bucks. Okay, we all want it to go to hundred bucks. Let's take a look at our poll, by the way. We have eight hundred forty-seven votes. Thirty-eight percent said Rotini. Thirty-eight percent said Rotini. No, thirty-eight percent said Penne. If I had to rate these, I would go Rotini, Penne, Tortellini, Angel Hair. <laughs> I I actually like Rotini the best, by the way. Penne is not bad, but I feel like Penne, Penne is fine. It just the sauce, the sauce doesn't go in the curves. I, I want the sauce in the curves. I'm like swallowing my saliva as I'm talking about it. <laughs> because I'm just picturing like marinara sauce or like pasta sauce in my mouth. <laughs> I want the sauce to go into the pasta curves and to marinate in those pasta curves and to stay in those pasta curves. And then the best thing is when you have leftovers with that pasta, you put it in the to go container. You open it up the next day and the pasta is like nice and slimy and wet with the pasta sauce. Oh, that was today. That was today. I killed some of that pasta today. It was awesome, bro. Look at my pasta. <laughs> Look at my pasta. That's good, dude. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's really, really good. I'm going to put that on the screen if I can. If I can put that on the screen. Oh, shit. This isn't going to work anymore, is it? Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, it's not going to work anymore. But I feel... That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. All right, Bitcoin. I, I, see you, I see you doing some upwards accumulation here, Bitcoin. I see the upwards accumulation. I see it. I, uh, I see the upwards accumulation. Let's go for 68K again. Come on, Bitcoin. We got this, boy. We got this. Let's go for 68K again, my friend. Jordan wants some creamy feel goodness. Dude, I want some creamy good feelness in my mouth. I would love some pasta sauce in my mouth right now. Wouldn't you guys like some pasta sauce in your mouth? Who wouldn't want pasta sauce in their mouth? At any point in the day, I go wake up in the morning, I want pasta sauce in my mouth, bro. Cock sauce. Yes, the cock sauce. Um. Okay. Uh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. All right, so we'll keep an eye on that. Oh, man. When moon? <laughs> huh, guys? When moon? I, 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 I always think to myself, when moon? You know, like, when am I going to be able to get a Prius? Right? Because right now, you know, we're, we're riding around in a 1988 Corolla. When Prius? You know? Everyone always talks about the Lambo. Well, let's start with the damn Prius. Man, I think if, if we get the 69K, we can, we can say that we can upgrade to the Prius. And then if we get the 70K, we can, we can go with the Camry. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> All right. So what else can we talk about, guys? So it looks like we're going to get a bullish engulfing on the daily here for the corn. Uh, if we can close above 67... What is it? Six, what is this level? Hold on. What is this level? If we can close above 67,600, uh, looks like we're going to get a bullish engulfing on the daily. Um, and then I, I think the most important thing is, is that as we head into the end of this week, like that weekly was looking horrible. And now the weekly doesn't look too bad. You know what this weekly kind of reminds me of? You know what this weekly kind of reminds me of is Right, you, let's get rid of the pickle juice. <laughs> you know what this weekly candle kind of reminds me of? If we actually go look, let's get rid of this. Smack up the likes, by the way, guys. Smack up the likes, and if you aren't subscribed to the stream, make sure you sub out the stream. We're gonna be live every single day at 7 p.m. We're gonna be doing morning streams. We're gonna be doing walk videos. I might even do some walk streams. Maybe I'll do a nipple stream where George talks on my nipple. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Uh, but, but you know what this kind of reminds me of is when we had this kind of shady indecision candle up here and then the weekly was looking sh like shit and basically we've come back up and the weekly doesn't look too bad anymore. It actually reminds me of the ETF candle, right? Remember this candle right here? 
where like that was like <laughs> and it was understandable right this candle looked like shit this was a shitty ass candle right boom big dump right at that luna crash high we kind of spiked the luna crash high failed and then it looked like shit and then like we had this candle this candle looked like shit and then this candle looked like shit and then we retraced and then we had this like nice bullish hammer candle on the weekly it kind of reminds me of that we're like this candle looked like shit and then this candle looked like shit and then we retraced and then all of a sudden this candle doesn't look like shit I, I really i think it's what's going to come down to is this monthly though where do we close on the monthly where do we close on the monthly i, I honestly i i would love to see a close i really really want to see a close above that 69 like a, a, a monthly close we got 10 actually what is it march we got 10 days to close the monthly above sixty nine thousand. do we think we're going to do it guys let, let me know the chat yes we're going to do it or no we're not going to close above 69k in 10 days let me know in the chat yes or no do we close the monthly above sixty nine thousand us dollars <sighs> based on history <laughs> this is based on history there's, there's a chance that we don't and there's a chance that we do. <laughs> so, <laughs> we don't have a lot of history here. Actually, two times, I think two cycles, two cycles we actually closed above it on the first monthly candle. One cycle we got rejected for one month, and then the next month we broke back above. Do we close above 69K on the monthly? I'm going to say yes. I think I think yes. I think that we do. I, 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 <laughs> I think that we do, right? And <laughs> shocker. <laughs> shocker. Jordan thinks we're going to close above 69K. I think we close above 69K. I think we close above 69K. Why? The things that we've been talking about. The liquidations. Traders just being short as F. Why? Because they were all bearish going into FOMC. We're about to take out these motherfuckers. You see all these motherfuckers right here? <laughs> Look where we're right below. These guys be trembling in their little shoes. You see these guys right here? These guys be sweating. This, you see this? Someone has a... This, this $380 million of short liquidations right here at 68234 Literally $200 above us. These guys are sweating. You see these guys? <laughs> right? And then these guys up after the after these guys get taken out, they'll probably reshort here. And then these guys are gonna be sweating up here. But yeah, I think I think these guys are about to get blasted. Their their cocks are about to get blasted. Um, but no, because of this, and also because of the sentiment just yesterday um, being apt, like, dude, bull run over? Bull run over? Bull run over? Bloodbath far from over? Bloodbath far from over? Far, not even just like the crypto bloodbath. Far from over. We're going to close the monthly above 69K, fellas. <laughs> We're gonna close the damn monthly above 69k. You best believe. You bet you best believe. You best believe. Um I think Nier is gonna run again. Oh lord. You think Nier's gonna run again? I hope so, man. I mean uh, my biggest L1 holding is Nier. So I I, I I hope it starts running again. I do think it will start running again. a uh, little pullback. Honestly, like the pullbacks. It actually doesn't look like a big pullback, but this was actually, it's actually a 33% pullback, right? It's actually, it's a pretty, it's a big pullback, 33%. It doesn't look like it on the chart. That's why sometimes you have to go to take it off log scale and it looks way more respectable. <laughs> like this is a much more respectable pullback when you take it off log scale. On log scale, it looks like nothing happened, right? But yeah, here's my number one L1 holding. So I'm, uh, I'm ready to rock and roll, man, if, if it wants to bounce from here. It is, it is a support level though, right? If you look back in the past, this, these all closes into there, right? So previous highs, right? Previous lows, 
previous highs. This is a major inflection level. So we broke back above and we retested. It's like this it could easily be a level that we bounce from. This is obviously assuming that Bitcoin gets a bounce, but like this could easily be a level that we could see this bounce come in here on near. Uh, let's see. They speak at NVIDIA, right? In NVIDIA? <coughs> Duran, can you use your live viewer count as a top signal? You can. You can. I mean, I. the thing is, we just don't know what the viewer count's going to be at the top. I think it... But you can use it, yeah. You can use it. I think uh, um, the best buy signal is the like is the likes. The likes to viewer ratios. <laughs> That's usually that's usually the biggest buy signal is the like to viewer ratios. Yesterday that was horrible. <laughs> it was one of like the worst I've ever had actually. Like to viewer ratio. <laughs> and it's funny because the markets are way up, right? The markets are way up. People should be happy. But yesterday, man, it was it was it was doom and gloom in here like crazy, man. It was just absolute doom and gloom. Craziness, bro. Absolute doom and gloom. Um, all right, so Bitcoin. Boot this phone. All right. Daily close on the corn. So we did get the bullish engulfing on the daily. Um, doesn't mean we're just going to instantly moon from here, right? So just know, like, we're still below the 69K resistance level. So, like, this 69K resistance level could still be resistance in the short term. So, like I said, like, we just got a major pump, right? I mean, off these lows... Bitcoin just went up 12%, right? It just went up 12%. So on a 12% impulse, what you can have now is now you can have a pullback, right? And that's okay. It doesn't have to be from here. It could be from here. It could be from 69K. If it pulls back, that's okay, right? That's okay. What we want to see now is bullish market structure. So we had an impulse. We had a pullback. We had an impulse. Now, if, if we get a pullback somewhere in here, which I think is logical, dude. I mean, we just went up 12%. If we see a pullback, right? Now we just want to see higher lows come in. So any, really any low, it's kind of a low low, but I wouldn't want to break here, right? Like 64,500, I think this is where I'd want to hold. So it, to stay bullish, I'd want to hold here, I think. I want to hold like right here, these lows. Uh, but like any pullback into here is totally fine. That's okay. Um, don't get surprised if we do because we just had a 12% move from the lows in a day, <laughs> right? So it wouldn't be that surprising, right? So just know that it's okay. It is what it is. And it actually would form like that, that, that bullish pattern, right? It would form here, here, pull back. Boom, and we come back up, right? It would, it would be okay. It would be okay. Um, all right, so we're starting the day off, I guess. We just we just started the day five minutes ago. <laughs> so we don't have enough data. We started the day off red, but uh, it's been five minutes. <laughs> it's been five minutes, Fit. Uh, Wayne, so what happened to everyone saying that they would buy the next major dip? This is what happens on dips, man. And this is why I want to get my buys done before the bull market like really gets going. I don't want to buy any more crypto once the bull market gets going because the problem is relying on that strategy. This is what happens, okay? This is what happens. People say they're going to buy the dip, but they wait too long. They think it's going to go way lower, right? So that basically what happens is Bitcoin gets a big pump, okay? comes up to 74k and you get all the horse guys come into the chat come into the stream call in super cycle super cycle super cycle super cycle at the highs okay it's bitcoin's going through a super cycle i'm sitting up here and saying guys we're not going through a super cycle but then you get what the hell i wish i bought more bitcoin i will buy some on the next dip and you know i do want a little more altcoin i want a little more altcoin but they're too high. I will buy the next dip on the altcoin. The next 20, 30% dip, I will buy. <laughs> right? 
<laughs> right? So that they want more Bitcoin and they want more altcoins on the dip. You get the dip. You get the dip, right? You get altcoins pulling back 30%, 40%. It's just like this pullback, right? Near right here pulled back 45%. We're calling phase E, phase E, phase E. Get ready, boys. Get ready, boys. It's your last chance to buy altcoins low. Big pump. You get another pullback again. Okay, here we are again. Uh, we're down 33%. We could still go lower, right? But the you don't want to be a bottom dweller, bro. You don't want to be a bottom dweller. So what happens is you get those big pullbacks and you start seeing videos like this, right? People turn on YouTube. They start seeing Bitcoin bull run over. They pull up YouTube. They start to see altcoin capitulation. This crypto bloodbath is far from over. So what happens is psychology kicks in and they go, I will not buy now. I think we are going lower. So I will not buy any crypto now. I know I said I was going to buy the next 30% dip. And all the old coin I like down 30, 40%. But they're going to go down lower. So I am buying no more. <laughs> right? I mean, it, that's what happens, right? And then the market bounces. And then they want to buy, right? And it's just, it's a constant, it's a constant go around. And it's just a constant go around, man. Um, but you know, once again, you could still get another chance to buy your old coin lower. There's always a chance that Bitcoin gets rejected at 69K and goes lower, right? I'm not going to say it's guaranteed we're going higher. Like, you know, it's guaranteed Bitcoin's going to 80K. Nothing's guaranteed, right? Bitcoin can reject here and then pull back and go lower. Totally could, right? Um, but still it's like, uh, for me at least, if I start seeing the biggest bulls become bears, um, it's a, it's a good it's a good signal. It's a good signal, man. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Pretty sure SEC mandates that the WTFs can only buy Bitcoin on markets exchanges. That's true. That is true. Oh, someone asked where I where I see the the ETF flows. Actually, if you just go to CoinGlass, just go to CoinGlass. Um, and then they have a section in here that says ETFs, right? So you see this ETF section, just click on the ETF section. It's going to pull you to this screen. So I mean, you, you can see a bunch of cool stuff in here, right? You can see the volume, shares, assets under management, market cap. I like to go to flows. And then what you can do from this is you can see either like for each asset, right? So you can see the total, obviously the last two days were negative days. We don't have all the data for today, so we don't know if today is going to be negative or positive. It's probably going to be another negative day, to be honest, because uh, GBDC just keeps dumping Bitcoin. Um, but but you, yeah, you can see each each one in Bitcoin terms. You can see each one in um, USD terms. It's really nice. And I actually like going down here, and this is just a nice little graph to know like um, the inflows and outflows. It's really nice, actually. So you can see the last two days are red, right? Uh, for that was big green but I, I think i think what this also shows guys is the super cycle the super cycle narrative i think people think this is going to be a super cycle and, and i hope i'm wrong guys i, I want to make this clear i hope i'm wrong i hope i come back here one day and i say you know you know what bitcoin did go into a super cycle but the reason why i don't think that's going to happen is because i think people think that the etf buyers can only be buyers they think that people are just going to buy the ETFs and never sell, which I guess is true for some. But guys, the ETF buyers, they can sell that at any point, right? So if, if they if they see the market turning and being bearish, they can still sell the ETF and you can still see outflows, right? So you can still see negative days on the ETFs, right? Obviously, Bitcoin's been in a bull market so far, so you're going to see green days. But I'm telling you right now, Bitcoin goes into a bear, you're going to see people dump in the ETF. And that's why I don't think that, uh, that's the main reason people think we're going to a super cycle. And that's the main reason I don't think we're going to a super cycle. <laughs> people can always sell the ETFs, not just buy, 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 buy. <laughs> super cycle is so back. <laughs> Wayne said, Bitcoin has been in a super cycle since it was born. Yes, it actually has been. If you have a big enough time scale, Bitcoin's always been in a super cycle. Uh, shout out from Matt from Kansas. Do we have enough time to get a blow off top and major alt run before the Fed raises rates? Of course we do. Of course we have enough time. Why do we have enough time? We only need six months for an altcoin season, right? So 
typically how it works, or at least how last cycle worked. This time could be different, right? <laughs> the famous last words, this time could be different. But if you, if you notice here, right, this is the monthly. It only took from Bitcoin's all-time high break to its peak it was only one, two, three, four, five months, right? So from the all-time high break to the peak was only five months. That's it. Actually, sorry, one, two, three, four, yeah, five. So five months. It only took all-time high break to peak, okay? Altcoins, let's just go look at the monthly. It, it, it doesn't need a lot of time, right? So from alt, from where we are now in the cycle, which I think we're like right here, it only took one, two, three, four, five. It only took one, two, three, five, same as Bitcoin. It only took five months to go from where I think we are now, which is like right here, right here, to the peak. It, it, it's very quick. It's not like this long thing. It, it's, it's very, very quick. So honestly, like if this cycle is the same, we could see the top come in in the summertime. We could see the top come in in the fall of this year. We could, and that, that would be plenty of time <laughs> based on history, right? And, and th listen, this cycle has been moving up faster than previous cycles. So who's to say you even need that much time? You could see Bitcoin break all-time highs, go up for another two months. Altcoins can moon for two months, and that's the top, right? We have no idea to know. Um, but yeah, you, you don't need a lot of time, Matt. You need almost no time. Zero time, actually. No, you need some time. You don't, <laughs> you don't need zero time. Zero time. And, you know, if we look at this, what I think is interesting is, so the halving is coming up next month. Okay, so the halving is coming up in a month. Actually, not even a month. I think it's like three weeks. My thing is, imagine the soul. And remember, remember how many, remember how many times we talked about this in the bear market. Imagine the salt. And I shouldn't say imagine the salt, but imagine how thrown off people would be. Let's just do a hypothetical, okay? You can see what the stock market's doing, dude. The stock market's ripping to new all-time highs. When I see this, I can't think that it's impossible for Bitcoin to keep ripping to all-time highs. If you think it's impossible, well, you haven't been watching the market, right? It's totally possible. What I think would throw a lot of people off, and it's already thrown people off, to be honest, because people keep trying to call a top on Bitcoin, top, 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 top. Imagine the soul. This is where the Bitcoin halving is, right here. Just imagine. Imagine this. Imagine this. This is remember we talked about this in the bear market. Is the having getting front run? Imagine. Imagine. And I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. But just, uh, imagine how thrown off people would be. Imagine, just, just, just picture it in your head. <laughs> right? It doesn't have to play out like exactly like this. I think this is a little dramatic. But it, it, imagine the salt. <laughs> this this would just throw off everyone's everyone's thing of the cycle and it would just be so epic it would be so epic um let's see i'm not bullish enough said feel good green <laughs> that's exactly what i think will happen i would have to mortgage my house <laughs> uh with etf before exp <laughs> the with etf Imagine, and, and I, I want to ask you guys this, like, like, would you be prepared for something like this to happen? Like, a, like seeing Bitcoin pump to like 100K by the halving. It, would you be prepared for something like this? Just, just, just think, try to think about it. Think, think, think about it. Everyone always like, just, this is a possibility. Like, I, I, I want to put this out there. Like, this is a possibility to happen. This is not a zero probability of happening. This is actually a probability of happening. Are you prepared for something like this? Just be prepared. That's all. Like if, if you're if you're if you're thinking that Bitcoin has to pull back here because it's before the halving, 
it's just like, we, we've always talked about how like you're gonna get a little pullback, but it doesn't need to pull back significantly. So just be prepared, be prepared, be prepared. Um, <clears throat> this would be painful. <laughs> I'm getting out. Someone's got a shit lawnmower. <laughs> yeah, you heard the Civic. You always know that it's a Civic outside. You always can hear the Civic outside, revving its engine, doing some crazy shit. Um, Metal Gear says, I think it will happen. Jeez, man. Max Payne would be for Bitcoin to shoot to 1 million within a month. <laughs> would that be Max Payne? I've been, in, I've been in the markets long enough to know, and I've said this before, most of the time, Max Payne is down. <laughs> there are times where Max Payne is up. Like yesterday. Like yesterday, I think, dude, people were so scared yesterday. I think people were dumping altcoins. Retail was just capitulating altcoins like crazy yesterday. Like Max Payne today was up. <laughs> like there are times where Max Payne is up, right? Most of the time, Max Payne is down though. Um, but like, yeah, yesterday Max Payne was up, man. It was, dude, it, the, 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 the sentiment change yesterday was crazy. Crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. All right, anything happening so far on the new day? Nothing really happened on the new day. Um, stock market futures up huge. You got the NASDAQ up 0.5% after hours. The Dow, look at the Dow today, bro. Look at the Dow. Woo! Man, what a candle. <laughs> what a damn candle, bro. <laughs> and I know a lot of people were talking about, you know, this would be in the top for the Dow. And, you know, and, and it still could be. Um, I know there were a lot of predictions, right? Bitcoin was supposed to top. You know, at 48K with the ETF, the Dow Jones was supposed to be top because it was the 4236 Fibonacci level, which I guess it still could be, right? It can go slightly above. But um, that theory of, of the Dow Jones 4236, uh, we are cracking that now. So, I mean, uh, like I said, we can go slightly above, but we are above the Dow Jones 4236. Um, so... <laughs> All the fib levels on the Dow are broken. Honestly, but we got to. I want to close it above it on the weekly, and get some further confirmation. But yeah, the Dow went crazy today. Stock market's just going insane. Some crazy shit, dude. <clears throat> crazy shit. You think most altcoins will be higher when Bitcoin reaches seventy three k again? No, I think I think most altcoins will be lower, right? So like, say if Bitcoin does something like this, maybe it pulls back tomorrow, right, and then it comes back up. All right, let's just say Bitcoin does something like this, right? I think by the time Bitcoin got to here, most alts would still be lower. Because like, think about it, like the, the real altcoin move doesn't happen until Bitcoin starts closing candles. Like has to close some weekly candles above the all-time high for the alts to really start mooning historically. So I think by the time get Bitcoin gets here, you're still going to see altcoins lower than they were when Bitcoin was here last time. It's basically Bitcoin dominance going up. Some won't be, like the hot coins will be higher, right? So like, I think FET would be higher in that circumstance. I think most of the AI coins would be higher. Uh, I think the memes would be higher. Like I think you see Doge, Pepe would be higher, I think. Um, but like maybe Soul would be higher. Like the hot coins will be higher. The other ones will be lower. But yeah, it's a good question, man. It's a good that is a fantastic question. 67,920 on the corn. No, no, not on the corn. Yeah, on the corn. On the corn. On the corn. Um, Chewy said it was Mitch Ray or Pickleface. Guess who had more viewers? Mitch Ray. <laughs> it was Mitch Ray, baby. Uh, Teacher said, imagine you two mod coming over and seeing the pickle party we just had and be like, what the hell is going on here? You should know what goes on here. We are crazy over here, man. We are crazy. You know what we need to do now? I'm sick of seeing these shorts open over here on coin on 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 uh, on coin glass. I'm sick of seeing these shorts open on coin glass, fellas. I I, I really, really am. I want to see them get wiped out. I want to see them get wiped out because they're they're a bunch of chickens. A bunch of chickens. Okay? I think I see these shorts open, fellas. Now, maybe short term, we get a pullback. 
Bears. Spam the swords and shields. And if you don't, you are a pussy. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, we show bears our George. <laughs> we show George. We show bears our George. Do you see ICP hitting a TH by the end oh of the bull market? Oh my God, man. that's good. That's good. Can we see ICP hitting hitting all time high by the bull market, bro? ICP is gonna go up a lot. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to do that, man. ICP has got to go up a lot, I think. Hold on. ICP chart looks beautiful. But like, this is a fantastic chart right here. Beautiful, man. Beautiful pullback. Look at the look at the bull market support band retest. Right off that little bat boy. Bounce off of it. Fantastic chart. <laughs> I think I almost said chart. Fantastic chart. Man, this one's got to go up a lot, bro. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think. There's no, no, it's not going to, man. It's not going to. This is crazy, man. This is crazy, man. ICP is 2,800 and there's no way in, no way in George's nipple land. You're more likely to see George, my, my George nipple talk to you on stream than seeing ICP go to 2,800. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way bro there is no chance in hell it is going that high i don't even know how it launched that high that's ridiculous how did it even launch that high the chart looks good right it's, i think this chart looks primed to right to, to to start sending higher but like dude 2800 jeez man jeez louise i don't know I, I don't I don't think so. Uh ICP doesn't even show on the chart it was over 1k. Right here, bro. Um ICP will melt faces. I agree, Hops. I think the ICP chart is beautiful. It's a fantastic chart, man. Look at the retest of the highs. Hmm, beautiful stuff. Oh man, it's a good day today, guys. It, you know, it, it, it was a good day. It was it was a really really good day today. I'm happy to see green. It's always a nice when you see green in the markets and you can just you just look beautiful. And I, I you know I think what a, what another reminder today is, guys. Like, do you see what coins are strong? Did you see what coins were the strongest on the bounce today? Pay attention. If you get another dip, <coughs> buy the coins or <laughs> dare I say, shift to the coins that looked strongest today. So if you see another dip, You've seen what coins are the strongest. You've seen what coins are the weakest on on the on the move back to the upside. Okay, so if we do see this move back down to like you know sixty four thousand five hundred or so, look what coins were strong, and there there were some obvious ones. Um, it was the obvious plays. Um, shout out to Pepe. Shout, shout out to the frog. You need to bring back the frog. The frog guitar. I think it's almost time to bring back the the frog guitar. 
on the stream. You guys remember the frog guitar and the peak of the bear? <laughs> oh man, the frog guitar. That was that, that, that was that was that was some times, man. The frog guitar. You guys remember the um, the Wilson ball? Uh, <laughs> we put days going sideways. I think we got up to like 90 days or some shit like that. It was freaking brutal. Um, but yeah. Head and shoulders? It could be a head and shoulders, yeah. That's why the 69K level is so big, right? It could be a head and shoulders. You could have like this. This is a big left shoulder. Then you came back up. And then you came back up again, 69K. That's why getting back above the 69K level is the biggest thing. If we If we can clear back above this... There's no more in, there's no more head and shoulders. So we gotta watch this level right here at 69,000. 69, and uh, we'll see if we can get above it. We'll see if we can get above it. If we can't, well, maybe we got a little lower to go, but six, 69K is the level to watch. <clears throat> How high do you see ICP going? I, I have no idea. Like I said, do, doing doing the predictions are crazy, man. You, you just don't know. I mean, I'll say this: like, if it's anything like a previous bull market, I don't think like a coin. How high is the market cap on ICP? Where's ICP? Five billion. You know, I really don't think. You know, from the point it's at now, like. 5x I think is conservative I'm saying like if, if this cycle is going to repeat like it normally does I think a 5x is kind of conservative um, a 10x I, I, a 10x isn't crazy from here it's really not like it's really not that big of a move um, I mean it is a big of a move but like on the chart it's really not that big of a move you're getting back up to like this peak but um, yeah I'd say I mean a 5 to 10x is, is I think is pretty reasonable if we're going to see the same bull market like we typically do, which I think we do. There's obviously a chance that we don't and we just shit the bed. <laughs> There's always that chance, right? Nothing's a guarantee, but we can always say that. Uh, you're never going to get the gains you want unless you have conviction in what you think is going to happen. So I got conviction that you'll, you'll see most old coins pull 5 to 10 Xs still. Um, but I don't know. Go Doge. Uh, let's see. Wilson, you remember the Wilson times? That was brutal times, man. <laughs> that was, I think, one of the most boring times I've ever had in crypto. It was during this phase. I think it was, when was Wilson? When, when were we doing the Wilson streams? I think Wilson was, Wilson was, where was Wilson? Wilson was this. I'm pretty sure it was... When was Wilson? I think Wilson was... This? Was it this? Or was it... This? It was this or this? I can't remember which one was Wilson. But either way. Either way, it was brutal. <laughs> either way, it was brutal. It was brutal. <clears throat> the Wilson meme is a is is eternal. It is, it, it it is eternal. Bought the Shrap dump. Yeah, Shrap got, Shrap got listed on uh, Crypto.com. So hopefully that gets a little more volume in it because it, it hasn't been on an exchange. So like the only way to buy it has been on AVAX. But now now it's on Crypto.com. So hopefully this that gets a little bit more volume in, right? Hopefully. Gets a little push up on Shrap once the once gaming picks up again, which I'm sure there's going to be another gaming run at some point, and I think Shrap will be one of the better gainers in that. But now it's finally on exchange. Woo, let's go, man! Let's go, man! It's finally on an exchange. Woohoo! Now we got to wait for the gaming pump. Franco, if QQQ can dump 33% bear, better believe Ibit can dump 40% in a bear at least. These dreamers that think BTC ETF is immune to dumpage crack me up. I agree, Franco. That, that's been my main talking point is the reason people think that the super cycle will happen is because they think the ETFs will be up only. ETF buyers can be sellers too. 
that's just a thing. Like they can be sellers too. If stocks go in a bear market, that's because people are fearful. If people are fearful, they will dump the Bitcoin ETF, just like stocks, right? It's, it's no different. Are you going to hold the Bitcoin ETF through a 40% correction on the stock market? Probably not. Right? Most people will sell, right? It's like, it's, and my biggest thing is I'm not saying I don't want a Bitcoin super cycle. It's just don't have that as your base case. Like if your base case is Bitcoin's going to go up forever, you're probably going to ride it up and to wherever it goes, right? Whether maybe, you know, 80K, 100K, wherever you think Bitcoin's going to top. All the way back down. <laughs> You know, <laughs> it's it's not your base case, man. It's not your base case. Yo, drug fair gifted five memberships. Let's go, man. Um, we are going to start having member streams in the morning again, guys. So uh, not every day. I'll, I'll be doing it starting next week. I'll be doing member streams in the morning on the busy days, right? I mean, if, if the market's going crazy, pump or dump, I'll hop on on a member stream. If not, we'll skip that day and I'll do a, I'll do a walk video instead, right? But we are going to start doing those in the morning. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited if for that. QQQ can dump 33% in a bear, better Shout believe it can dump 40% in a bear at least. These dreamers that think BTC Whoa. ETF is immune to dumpage crack me up. Mike said, Hoff said, but stock market has been up only. Yeah, it has been up only, but like, if we say say this, right? Say stocks have been going, going crazy, right? And they probably, I think they're going to continue to go crazy for now um, until we cut rates. But, but... <laughs> But let's say that we have another 2022. Like, do we think that Bitcoin will go up if there's another 2022? Say if this happens or a COVID crash happens, do we think that people are just going to be buying the Bitcoin ETFs or do you think people are going to be selling the Bitcoin ETFs? Which one do you think will happen? Will, will people buy the Bitcoin ETFs or sell the ETFs during a dump like this or a dump like this, right? Or a dump like this. Because like one of these will happen again, right? You'll have another 2008. There'll be another 2020. There'll be another 2022. <clears throat> but if you have a big enough time frame, I mean, Bitcoin's always been in a super cycle. It's whole life. It's whole lifespan. This has been one big super cycle. If you just ignore the big bear markets, which people have like a hard time comprehending. But if you, if you ignore all these big bear markets... Bitcoin's been in a super cycle the whole goddamn, the whole goddamn time. They go whole goddamn time, man. I mean, how many assets are going to get you, you know, even a 10x? Like, even if you bought it 6K back in 2020 or, you know, 6K back in 2018, 2019, like, how many assets are going to get you a 10x in four years? <laughs> and that's not even buying the lows. That's just buying it like 6K. Right, 7K. Not many are going to get you that. But if you have a big enough time scale, <clears throat> the scary mofos <laughs> do a walk video. Dude, I'm going to be I'm going to be doing walk videos. I'm probably going to go to the park that's down the street. I like my little park video down the street. Um. But yeah, that's that. I mean, I I, I don't want to keep saying that to be negative. I, I just don't want you guys to ride a whole bull market up and to ride it all the way back down. I, I don't want to see that. I think everyone in here has done that in the past, um, whether it was 2017 or whether it was 2020, 2021. I don't want to see you guys do that again. And that's why I like to talk about these things. It's not to be a negative Nancy. I don't want to be a negative Nancy. But I don't want you guys to ride a whole bull market up to ride it all the way back down again in the hopes of a super cycle, okay? Just remember, right, how you felt here, if Bitcoin starts coming back up again, 80K, 90K, just take, take some off the board, man. Take a little off the board. Take a little off the board. You can always buy it back again later if you want. <clears throat> um, I, remember, I still remember being NVIDIA $3 in 2013. Damn. Holy shit. Holy guacamole. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna call the stream here. Thank, thanks for thanks for coming by, Drunk Bear. Appreciate that, man. That was awesome. Five five uh, gifted memberships in there. Uh, I'm gonna call the stream, guys. Thanks for coming in. Hit that like button before you go. Subscribe to the channel. 
Uh, we got Bitcoin here, 67,800. Hopefully, that 69K level, man, we got to break that 69K level. Hopefully, it's one of those nights where you kind of go to sleep and it's been, a, it's been a while since we've seen that. Remember those like a couple weeks ago, you would just go to sleep and you open your phone and Bitcoin would always be green. Like Bitcoin would be up like three, four percent every time you woke up in the morning. <laughs> I'm hoping we can get back to that, uh, but we'll see. We'll see where Bitcoin is in the morning. Uh, like we said, stock markets are big green going into tomorrow. Uh, big green days over there in the stock market today. Dollar came down um, today. Goal was up, which actually has been a decent, actually been good uh, recently. So uh, good days across the board. All coins, major pumps today. Um, and we'll see if we can get those all coins start coming back up and making new highs. Short term, we'll see what happens with Bitcoin. But um, good stuff, guys. Catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Later. See you guys at 7 p.m. Because we're back at 7 p.m. Every single motherfucking day, baby. <laughs> Let's go. See you guys.